Are you a cake lover like, you know, the rest of us? And you just can't get enough of it? I'm gonna find out I've got the box to help you out with that. Let's get to it. Hey guys, thanks for joining us. So it's been a while since we filmed. Yes, it has. I've been out of town. You'll notice there was quite a few episodes barely up lately. Yes. I had a big long work trip. Uh, the Q&A is now finally officially coming because I'm back in town. We just like now have a stack of boxes to catch up on. So we will yes. film the Q&A somewhere while we're doing all the boxes. But with all that said, today we have Fantastic Crate or Cake Crate, Fantastic Cake Crate. Fantastic. The reason I bring all that up is because Ken, he likes to message me uh, right when he's sending the box just yes. to kind of give us a heads up. And he messaged me and it was literally the first day I had left for seven straight days. And I was like, uh. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> so um, what he told us to do is mm -hmm. go ahead and open the box. So there's nothing in there. <laughs> open the box and uh, put some of it in the fridge and one of the things we had in the freezer and he asked mm -hmm. us to take it out right before we, like for a few hours before we started filming. Yes. So we did all that and voila, we have that over here on a plate. Yes, along with our fork. So you don't get way. to see us unbox it like you normally do, sorry. Yes, ba, 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 ba. had to make sure everything was preserved for yeah. us to be able to eat today. And it seems like it held up really well. Yes. The, the macaroons over here is what he asked us to put in the freezer. Mm -hmm. uh, everything else has been in the fridge, and then I took it out of the fridge a little bit beforehand. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to try this. Ma I love I do too. macaroons. It's one of my favorite cookies. So going down the list here, here's the paper of everything that's in there. Okay. Uh, whoa, whoa, wait, though. Before I even oh. do that, we should probably tell them the price. Oh, yes. They are $40 <laughs> monthly, and that does include shipping. So if you think that's a steep price, it includes shipping, so you do not pay extra for that. And we do have a code for you. Ha ha. I don't know what that code does. It'll say right there. We have a lot of codes for these subscription yes. boxes. Hard to keep up. <laughs> I've got it all written down somewhere, but I don't memorize all of what the codes are. But there you go. So there's your code. Yes. All right. So um, let's, let's get right into this. So this is the January box. Yes. We're obviously a little late because, you know. Of course. So we have black forest cake in a cup. Eh. Yeah, I'm not super excited about that because I see you said there's cherry in there. Yeah, it says yeah. right there cherry filling. Not, not a fan of cherry, but yeah. I mean, Ken's a rock star. Never and let been us other down things yet. Before, yes. So uh, we have French macaroons there. Mm -hmm. uh, we have classic chocolate cake pops and a s'mores bar. Ooh. That's number one on the list for me. The s'mores bar. I cannot wait to get into Mine the s'mores bar. Mine is the ma macaroons. The macaroons. Oh yeah. All right. Uh, so there's everything. Let's go cake first. Let's go cake first. Because then we get to the things we really are excited about. Maybe this cake is gonna shock us though. Yeah. I've never heard of a, a black forest cake though. I don't know. I've what never that is. had one either. You've heard of it at least. Yes. His frosting is always Amazing. awesome. Yeah. Yes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my best there. I got some of the cherry too. Okay. Right. Look at that bite. Oh, <laughs> look at our bite difference. Get a little bit more. No. <laughs> Cheers. Oops. I'll grab that. Oh, oh, just <gasps> go. <laughs> Not my favorite. You don't like it? Mm-mm. I actually kind of like it. Yeah? Yeah, I didn't think I would. It surprises me. Mm. You got it on your beard. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like it? Mm-mm. What about it? I, I like the chocolate flavoring in there. So it's the it's the actual cherry part. I, I don't like it. You want those cherries right there? Mm-mm. <laughs> no, sorry. Something I don't like. That shocks me because I didn't think I was gonna like it, and I do like it. Because to me, the cherry's not overwhelming. The cherry kind of complements the chocolate pretty well in there. And and usually, yes, that is the case with most things. But I honestly, that's one flavor I can't I can't handle. Like so, he does, like uh, coconut. I can't oh, do cherry. Yeah. So he does on. 
the little sheet that you get here. He lists all the ingredients and everything. And it does say all items are created. Kitchen that uses nuts, wheat, and other allergens. Please yes. read all ingredients. But it's nice he gives you all the ingredients because yes, allergies these days. Whoa. I'm impressed. You're not, but I like it. I don't know what the, this, I like this part. You can see like a. Yeah. Like a chocolate ganache type thing. Yeah, like a ganache. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. Good. All right. What do you okay. want to go to next? Um. Should we save the two that we're really excited for last? Sure. So we'll do the cake pop? Yes. I will take a bite of yours when you're done. <laughs> He loves cake pops. I am one that cake pops are not my favorite and it doesn't matter the flavor. It's just the texture of the cake pops it's I good. don't normally like. I don't know how you don't like the texture of cake pops. I don't know. Honestly, it's just the texture. Like most of them taste good. It's just, I it's like the it. texture that I don't really like I on cake pops. I love cake pops. It was still in your beard. <laughs> That's for later when we're done filming. I'm <laughs> oh, surprisingly, I really, that flavor is good. You know, so you had a delayed reaction to that. I did yeah. too, because I tasted chocolate and then yeah. as it like stayed and I swallowed it. There's something that hit the back of my throat that I liked a lot. Because at first I was like, it's chocolate, it's good. But there's like yeah. a, I don't know how to describe the, it's going to come off. Yeah, there's like an mm. after flavor that happens that I actually don't mind that one at all. Like, um, uh, you know, it almost tastes like a brownie. Yeah. Yeah. And I like brownies, and so maybe that's why I was like, oh, that might, that's not too bad. That like, is a brownie that was, kind of flavor to it. Yeah, that one actually wasn't bad. That was good. But again, I, I'm not the biggest fan of it. It's, it's, I'm very big on texture. I know that's a weird thing, but texture is a big part of what I'm eating, which is the same reason why I can't eat mushrooms. I like the crunch you get from having the, the, little, the little sprinkles, sprinkles on mm -hmm. top there. That's good. Yeah. All right, you want to do the macaroons next? Yes. Or the, okay. Yes. I'm very excited for these. Not wine today. Milk, always mm -hmm. with Ken. So these are one of my favorite cookies. So there's a, a local bakery here mm -hmm. that makes these. So I'm gonna have a real high standard with this because you spoiled me on that local bakery I that did. makes these. <laughs> I gotta say, it's just so yeah. soft. It feels just perfect. Mm -hmm. I was worried about freezing it, but. Yeah. Mm. That's great. Mm-hmm. Ken was worried about uh, how it would hold up in the freezer. This is something that's meant to be eaten right away. It held up perfectly. Yeah. So if you do, uh, you know, get these, stick them in the freezer. Mm-hmm. So usually- Because that's perfect. When you can tell they're stale, they like crunch when they're supposed to, I guess- Because we had them before. Smush is the best way to put it. Yeah. And they still smush, even though yeah, that they I were put in the that. freezer. Because usually you like, they'll crunch and they'll like fall apart. That doesn't do that. So these preserve really well. It's good well. to know that because that place, the local bakery, sometimes you'll buy extra. Mm -hmm. And if you don't eat them right away, it's true. They get kind of that smush to them. No, not smush, crunch. Well, the crunch, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yes, I meant. So that's fun fact. <laughs> yeah. She's got a really good flavor on these. Like a vanilla? Mm-hmm. Yeah. The Can. texture is really well. Yeah. More you macaroons. did really well on these. These you are good. You need to do this again. Yeah, heck yeah. Let's experiment with some flavors, Ken. <laughs> I say that just because that local baker has got all these awesome flavors. Like that is fantastic. Mm -hmm. So I'd be curious to see what Ken could do with those. All right, s'mores. Ben's favorite. Mm. When uh, I went to take the pictures, I was like, it looks like a giant Kit Kat. <laughs> I love Kit Kat. Oh my. It's a s'mores Kit Kat over here. But I cut it open in the picture so you could see the cross section there. Oh. I'll let you finish up your macaroon. He did want to let us mm -hmm. know, or let you guys know, that uh, the cake next month. Oh, oh. I'm so excited for this. So February's box. Yeah, the February mm -hmm. 2020 box. The cake 
is the very first Cantastic. Yes, and it's called Sunday Brunch. And it was like a maple bacon bourbon cake or something like that. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> the sweetness. And then with the bourbon and the bacon, there's so many oh layers God. to that. <laughs> I could cry right now. Whoa. That was the very first thing we ever had. And we were like, that was freaking hooked. amazing. Like, Whoa. like this. Oh, oh, yeah. I'm very excited about this. That because, uh, holy crap, that's what got Get us. Get your order on in this. now. Yeah. Get it in right now before it's too late. Maple bourbon bacon cake. Tasted like. How could you not love that? Pancakes with bacon and a little <laughs> bourbon mixed in. Like, fantastic. Yeah, it was really, so really good. Go order the February box right now. All right, you ready? Okay. I thought you were going to bite this, and I was like, uh-uh. Oh. You were, it looked like you were leaning in. I was like, I got you a half already. I'm already not eating the whole thing. Okay. Okay. Right. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Wow. That's good. That is a better flavor than I was expecting. That's so good. I was expecting the like everything to be like overly that. crunchy. No, it's not at all. The cookie has this really softness to it, and it's really good. Yeah. 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 Shocker! Are you gonna eat that or? You can eat. All right, if you insist. Mm. So oh my good. god, he's so cute. <laughs> so there it is. I'm gonna eat some of this. You didn't like this at all. Mm -mm. I did not. I really I'm didn't sorry. expect to like this one at all. I saw those cherries and I was like, mm -hmm. but yeah, it was good. The January 2020 Cantastic Cake Crepe. What did you think? Did you get a Cantastic Cake Crepe for January? Did you like the macaroons and the s'mores and the, these, that's not chocolate. Is that brownie on a stick? <laughs> and the Black Forest. What about Black Forest Cake? I'd love to know yes. down in the comments who likes Black Forest Cake. Yeah, I'm curious on that one too. I need to actually Google that because I don't really know what it normally looks like. Yeah, I have no idea. Yeah. But I saw that on there. I was like, what's Black Forest Cake? When I was like first sold it. Anyways, what did you think? Let us know down in the comments. Don't forget to hit that like button and share with your friends. If you haven't already done so and you enjoyed this video and want to watch more videos just like it, Click right here to subscribe. And right over here is our last unboxing of Kentastic. And on this side, you got our most recent episode. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you next time.